Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Java on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's see how we can do it. So first of all, we are going to check whether Java is installed on our Windows operating system already or not. For that simple check is to uh, just open your command prompt. So just search for CMD in your search bar and then uh, click on this option which says command prompt and here just type Java space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter and if it says java is not recognized as an internal or external command that means java is most probably not installed on your windows 11 operating system so let's uh, install java so for that you just need to open your favorite browser and search for oracle java download and the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com so just click on this link i'm going to provide this link in the description of this video also so you can directly click on the link and reach to this website here at the time of making this video three versions are available java 22 java 21 and java 17 we are going to install the java 22 which is the latest version so just click on the java 22 tab and then click on windows here we are going to download the msi installer so select the link which is in front of msi installer i'm going to click on this link which is going to start the download of this msi file so once this msi file will be downloaded you just need to click on this uh, msi file so you can see it's downloaded now so i'm going to click on this msi file and minimize my browser so now the installation wizard of java se development kit has been started so here click on next button and this will be the default location where java will be installed on your windows operating system so if you don't have the good reason to change this location just leave it as default and then click on next here and this is going to give you this kind of warning which says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i'm going to click on yes here which is going to start the installation process and in few seconds this installation process will be finished so just wait for a few seconds and you can see the message which says java se development kit successfully installed that means it's installed successfully if you want to access some tutorials or api documentation you can click on next steps button otherwise click on the close button in my case i'm going to click on the close button now once again we are going to open the command prompt to check whether java command is now recognized or not so i'm going to once again search for cmd and then open the command prompt here and then i'm going to give this command once again which is java space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter and this time you can see java command is recognized so here you can see the java version which i have installed is 2022.0.1 so now java is installed on your windows 11 operating system now some applications also requires java home to be set in our environment variables on our windows operating system so that they can recognize the java folder so let's see how we can set the java home environment variable so just go to your folder explorer and then click on the c drive here and then click on program files here and then click on java folder here and click on the jdk version you see here i'm going to click on jdk 22 and then you need to copy this path from here and then search for environment here which is going to show you this kind of result which says edit the system environment variables so i'm going to click on this option which is going to show me this kind of system properties window click on environment variables here and then select the path environment variable and then click on ok and this environment variable which you see here which is something like c program files common files oracle java java path this is done by our java installer right so if you don't see this kind of path then java command will not be recognized to set the java home environment variable you can go under user variables for your user and then click on new here and then in the variable name just write java underscore home all in capital and then the path value here will be the path which we have copied 
which is until JDK hyphen the version you have downloaded, right? So this is the path which we have copied from here. Once you have provided this path, click on OK and then click on OK here. And once again, click on OK, which is going to set the environment variable for your Java home. 